Hey everybody, the good people at Survival Gorilla, that's the uh, company that sent me those grow light hangers to review, sent me a new product that they have for 2015 to review, and this is their ratcheting garden shears, and they contacted me a few days ago, and this came from Amazon, so uh, let's see, open it up and see what we got here. shears and blade sharpener. Alright, here we go. This is what they look like. And this must be the sharpener. And it's this. Uh, coupon for a free gardening ebook. So we'll check that out too. So let's put this to the test and I'll give you a closer look at it. Okay, I've been messing around with these things for a few minutes and let's get a closer look. Here is the locking device that holds the blade shut for when you're not using it. And right here is the ratcheting device. Let me zoom in on that. And you can kind of see how that works, but let's put it to the test to see what function that has. Just for comparison, I'm going to go up against my old garden shears. These are friskers. I had these about 20 years against the survival gorilla. And one difference in the blade I could see, there's less space on the friskers and bigger space here. I thought a good test would be to cut this stick, which is about three quarters of an inch thick. And we'll do the friskers first. Now keep in mind these aren't ratcheting, and the stick fits in there pretty good. Try one hand. I can't do it. Two hands. I just can't do it. So let's try the survival gorilla ones. And it fits pretty far back in there. And here you can see a ratchet. I'll kind of show how that works. So I'll just do it one-handed. Go in a little bit, ratchets, go in a little bit more. That's it, one hand. It was a dry stick. Let's take a look at the sharpener that comes with these shears. Here's a close look. It's about the size of a pen. And it unscrews like this. And that part comes out, flip it around, put it back in, and tighten it, and there you go, here's the drain part, and all you gotta do is put the flat part against the blade, and do that for a bit, and then flip it over, and do the same thing. And this is pretty handy. I'm going to use it on other things, like my other friskers. <laughs> anyway, let me show you what else I'm going to do here. Let's test it out on these dandelions. These dandelion stems are pretty thick. Right through it. These should come in handy in the fall for harvesting squash. See it goes right through. This is one that I grew in the fall. And even enough space for our pumpkin stems. Those are pretty thick and should go right through easily. Anyway, wrapping it up. It's a good product. I'm happy with it. And the sharpener makes it all the better. Well, that's all I have for you. Until next time, take care, everybody.